One thing that I have always uh, spoken to my students is my concern about the increasing um, prevalence of short-sightedness in the community. And um, it, it's short-sightedness or myopia. Yeah? It's gone up to 33% now overall. And if you're looking at uh, younger groups of people, um, we've, we've got you know, a staggering increase in the number of uh, people with uh, myopia over the last uh, 10 years. Um, it, it's always been the uh, debate um, among scientists that myopia is both a combination of uh, genetics and also the environment, so it's nature versus nurture. Um, but you know, if you look at data of studies done in Malaysia, and particularly the ones that have been done in Singapore and, and the rest of the Asian countries, it's becoming more evident that the environment is making it uh, uh, grow a bit faster now. Um, and, um, and in fact, in Australia, uh, Chinese kids, uh, why did I say Chinese? Because it's more prevalent among the Chinese. But it's also catching up in, in, in Malays and Indians. Uh, we have good data to show that in Malaysia as well. Um, I, I was referring to the study in Australia where Chinese kids um, um, actually um, were were leapt into the um, into the external environment from the school, from the inside environment to the external environment for X number of hours a day, and it was found that the number of hours that you spend outside of, of a close environment actually helps to prevent uh, uh, the sharp increase in myopia. So uh, it, it's one of the good evidence to show that the environment is, is actually making it become worse uh, on top of the genes that you have. Now, obviously, if you have both parents myopic then your chances of having myopia is, is increased. Um, the, um, the data that we have in Malaysia regarding uh, Indian kids is also very revealing. Uh, we're getting it published. Um, th there has been an increase as well compared to 20 years ago. Um, and these are Indian kids in, in urban environments.